Howdy, everybody. Welcome back to Accounting 1101. Hopefully, we didn't scare you away with our last video on accounting for sale of inventory. It was a marathon clocked in at, I think, 35 minutes. And so today, we're going to have a short one. Five slides. You know, I'm talking five minutes here. And we will not do a marathon. We're going to jump in and jump out real quick here, talking about accounting for shipping costs. Now, obviously, we have to get inventory from point A to point B. We have to ship it around, and that involves a lot of times paying a logistics company, uh, a shipping company. And so we're going to talk about how to account for that and who pays for it. Here we go. There we go. Our questions. Who pays when we have to pay to have a, an item of inventory shipped, and how do we account for it? And the rundown right here. The buyer pays. Shipping costs, when the buyer pays, are going to be added to the inventory account. It's just another uh, component of inventory cost. It just gets added right there into the asset account if the buyer pays. If the seller pays, the shipping costs are going to be recorded as an expense. And you'll see that expense called delivery expense, shipping expense, fulfillment expense, all kinds of different things involved there as far as account titles. But they all mean the same thing. So if the buyer pays, whatever shipping costs are incurred are going to be added to the inventory account. No special account needed. We just dump them into inventory. If the seller pays, we do have some special accounts. It can be called delivery expense, shipping expense. Regardless, it is an expense. So how do we tell who's paying? Well, we have a, a funny little uh, acronym called FOB, Free On Board. And you'll see free on board shipping point. And you'll see free on board or FOB destination. And those two terms tell you who's paying, whether it's the buyer or the seller. So you need to be familiar with these terms because in your accounting problems, it will say, um, you know, the inventory was uh, shipped FOB shipping point or the inventory was shipped FOB destination. And based on that, you need to know who is the party paying for it. So FOB Shipping point, an FOB destination. The shipping point and destination refer to where the title to the goods passes. Okay, where does ownership of the goods change hands? In FOB shipping point, the goods, the ownership of the goods changes hands at the shipping point, at the loading dock of the seller. In FOB destination, the title or ownership of the goods passes when they get to where they're going, when they get to the buyer. And that keep that in mind. So, FOB shipping point, title of goods passes at the loading dock of the seller. Therefore, the buyer is responsible for the cost of shipping and any insurance that needs to be put on those products to make sure they get there safely. FOB shipping point, the title passes at the shipping point, the loading dock of the seller. Once the seller puts it in the truck on the loading dock, they've washed their hands of it, not their responsibility. The buyer has to pay to get the inventory to them, and they'll include that cost in the inventory. FOB destination, the title of the goods passes when the buyer gets them. It's the seller's responsibility to get them from their loading dock all the way to the buyer. So the seller's going to pay for the cost of shipping. And so that's a lot of words there. FOB, uh, free on board, shipping point, destination. How about a cartoon? <laughs> yeah, I hope you didn't get too excited. I, maybe you think I was going to show Family Guy or something. Uh, here's my cartoon <laughs> demonstrating what's going on here. FOB, shipping point. Title passes at the loading dock. At that point, it is the buyer's responsibility to get it to them. Buyer's paying the freight, debit inventory, credit cash. In FOB destination, the title passes when it gets to the buyer. The seller's responsible for getting it there. That expense, debit delivery expense, credit cash. If you're the seller, the buyer doesn't have to do anything. So there you go, FOB. And Free on board. You can, uh, it sounds like a Monopoly Square, doesn't it? You got free parking, you got free on board. Uh, FOB there. So uh, that's how the shipping costs work. That's who uh, pays for it and how they account for it. If you have any questions on that as you're looking at your homework, 
feel free to reach out to me. As I promised, five-minute video, so I'm going to shut up, and we'll see you here next time.